So the next fibre in the October edition of the Hilltop Cloud Non Wool Club is Mulberry Silk. Um, so Mulberry Silk is very, very shiny. As you can tell by the uh, the way that it's blowing out the contrast, that's just to do with the light that's bouncing off it. It's got a very long staple length. Okay, if I hold that up against my jumper there, you can see the sort of staple length. If you spin it with a short forward draw, you need to remember that staple length. If you try to draft with your hands that close together, you're pulling on both ends of the same air. Silk is incredibly strong when pulled on like that. It won't work. You need to keep your hands far enough apart that you can actually slide the individual fibres past each other. I like to spin silk straight from the end. For me, that maximises the amount of shine. And I like my silk to be shiny rather than slightly more textured. Um, the amount of twist to use is a personal preference one. If you're weaving, you'll want lots more twist because the abrasion from the heddles is the sort of thing that does make silk pill. If you're going to use it for knitting, you can get away with slightly less twist. Um, remember, hands nice and relaxed. So actually the place where I'm gripping this is actually all the way back there and that's letting the fibres slide past one another. And the key, I think, to spinning silk is, is to relax. And it drafts quite nicely, particularly when it's as nice quality as this mulberry silk. If you're finding it hard, okay, there's no reason why you can't break off chunks and spin it from the fold. Because you're bending that long staple length in half, it can be a little bit easier to control. But you end up with a silk that's slightly fluffier, slightly less smooth and lustrous. So that's my personal preference. You end up with little sort of bits of, of silk fibre poking out from doing it. If you end up with the silk in an absolute mess, and because this is a short bit, I've ended up with a sort of chunk that is looking more like a lump. Okay. If you can find as close to an end as possible, and if you just waft it through the air like that, and if you've got a small piece, you can do it from both ends, and you will find that it all aligns itself back into a smooth, lump if you're regularly ending up with it in a huge great big matted clump it's because you're holding on far too tight with this back hand you need to relax the same lightness of grip that when you're spinning long draw it's exactly the same lightness of grip you should have when spinning with a short forward draw you should not need to be holding on to your fiber supply with this back end very tightly and if you are you're just making it harder for yourself